All right, let's talk about something a little scary, actually. It's a story from the front lines of server administration, and it's all about how one little command, when you've probably typed a million times without even thinking, can turn into a silent, server-killing nightmare. And this is especially true in the world of Proxmox. No, really, think about it for a second. That one command that's just pure muscle memory for you, the one you could type in your sleep, what if, in just the right, or I guess the wrong, circumstances, that command was actually a ticking time bomb? Well, it turns out that on a Proxmox host, that familiar, trusted command is exactly that. It's a trap. And the wild part is that it's so subtle, it goes so against your instincts, that it's a trap almost everyone is primed to walk right into. So let's break down how this whole thing is set up, and why it catches so many of us completely off guard. So our story starts, as so many of these tech horror stories do, with automation. You know, someone just trying to make their life a little easier. They had a standard Ansible playbook set up to update their systems, a totally normal, everyday task. But one command, run on autopilot out of pure habit, is what kicked off a total disaster. And look, this wasn't some crazy hack or a piece of hardware failing. It was just the wrong command at the wrong time. It was apt upgrade, and it happened to spot a repository for the next major version of Proxmox. The result? You get this bizarre, unstable hybrid system that's half old, half new, and completely broken. Okay, so let's put on our detective hats for a minute and investigate the crime scene here. What makes this whole failure so dangerous is that it's a silent crash. There are no immediate alarms, no flashing red lights, no errors screaming at you. At first, everything looks totally fine. Here's the play-by-play -play of how it went down. First, the script runs the command, and then nothing happens. Seriously, the VMs are still humming along, the containers are chugging away. It's not until later that the first clue shows up. The web GUI is just gone. A quick version check confirms the absolute worst. It's a Frankenstein's monster of a server, with Proxmox 8 and Proxmox 9 packages all mashed together. So, how on earth did this happen? Well, to get it, we have to look at the tiny but critical difference between two commands that seem almost identical, upgrade versus disupgrade. On a system like Proxmox, that difference is absolutely everything. Okay, this is the part that trips literally everyone up. On a normal Linux server, apt upgrade is your safe bet, right? It's conservative, it won't install new stuff or remove packages. But here's the twist. Proxmox needs to add and remove packages during its major updates. So. When you use apt upgrade, you're basically telling it, hey, don't do the full update correctly, which leaves it in this broken, half-upgraded mess. Apt dist upgrade is the one that actually lets it do its job. And why is this so important for Proxmox? Because you have to remember, a hypervisor isn't just another Linux box. It's more like a finely tuned engine. You've got the user interface, the storage system, the kernel, the cluster manager. All these pieces are designed to work together perfectly in sync. If you upgrade one part but not the others, the whole thing just shakes itself apart. The smoking gun in this particular story? Oh, it was painfully simple. It was just a single line in a source file that someone had added, pointing to the repository for Trixie, which is the code name for Proxmox 9. The apt upgrade command saw it, couldn't do a full transition, so it just grabbed what it could and created this absolute nightmare of mismatched packages. And once the system is in this state, you have officially entered what is affectionately known as dependency hell. It's a place where nothing works right anymore because different programs are all screaming for different versions of the same core libraries. It's a complete breakdown of the system's internal logic. And we are not talking about a small problem here. The scale was massive. The system was reporting that over 70 packages were being held back. That's basically the system throwing its hands in the air and saying, look, I've got more than 70 things I can't install or update because the whole foundation is a mess. I love this quote from the original discussion because it's the perfect analogy. The system's dependency tree, which is supposed to be this stable, solid tower, turns into a game of broken Jenga. It's like critical foundation blocks have just been yanked out at random. The whole thing is just waiting for one wrong move before it all comes crashing down. So naturally, your first instinct is, okay, okay. I can fix this. You start reaching for your usual repair tools. But this is the point where the true danger of this mistake becomes crystal clear. All those standard tools that work for minor issues, they are completely powerless here. Yeah, this is where it gets really bad. You try all the classics, apt-fixbrokeninstall, dpkg-configure-a, nothing. It all fails. The system is essentially stuck in a paradox it can't solve. 
You've got new programs that need new libraries, but they're on an old system that can't support them. The system just can't fix itself. So you're left with two pretty terrifying options. Option one, go all in. You change all your sources to the new Proxmox 9 version and you force a full, very risky upgrade and just hope for the best. Or there's option two, the nuclear option. You back up everything you can, wipe the server completely, and reinstall from scratch. Neither of those is a fun afternoon. So what's the big lesson we can take away from this whole server crashing saga? It's simple. On any specialized critical system, you cannot ever trust your autopilot. Muscle memory is your enemy. This comment from another user just says it all. Their instincts as a seasoned Linux admin were actually working against them. The command that feels safe and normal on Debian or Ubuntu is the one that's dangerous here. It just shows you how widespread this misunderstanding really is. It's a perfect trap. So let's just make this crystal clear. On Proxmox, apt upgrade is unsafe. Don't use it. The recommended method is apt dist upgrade. Or even better, just use Proxmox's own built-in tools like PV update and PV upgrade. The whole key is to move away from habit and start using intentional environment aware commands. And you know, that really brings us to the final thought here. This isn't just about one command on one specific platform. It's a reminder to question our habits, to question our assumptions. So I'm gonna leave you with this. What seemingly safe command, what little piece of muscle memory could be putting your most critical systems at risk right now? Something to think about.